don't shoot the messenger on this one because what I'm about to say, it's not my news, it's somebody else's news. Somebody else has broken this story and I'm just reporting on it. Go and check it out on Google, it's easy enough to find. And that is that the trio of Mikel Antonio, uh, Aaron Cresswell and Gianluca Scamacca all want to leave West Ham. There should really be no news to anybody. There's nothing new here. The only thing that's new is that the club have pretty much confirmed that the latter of the three is true. And the reason I say don't shoot the messenger is I've reported this once before off the back of a Fabrizio Romano article. And, well, this wasn't even a Fabrizio Romano article. The article was in Gazzetto della Sport. Fabrizio Romano ran an early version on it where it was basically Scamacca saying that he would love to, oh, I don't know, something like Mourinho would make him a better player. It's the team of, Roma is the team of his heart. And then there was a sort of amended extra bit to the article when he said he was, he, you know, he did a bit of that, didn't he? And said he was looking forward to the season with West Ham. Uh, I think uh, Fabrizio Romano got a lot of stick online and, and was demanded that he retract what he originally said. And even on my interview, as people say, and hold on a second, you, what you've done is inaccurate. You need to uh, produce an updated video, which I was I was happy to do with the updated information. I, I think the thing was, though, I sort of regret doing it because I didn't believe it. Even though I was, it was like I felt I, like I was reading from a script. I was, Gianluca Scamacca is very happy at West Ham United, looking forward to the season. I didn't believe any of the words I was saying, quite frankly. I said as much on Patreon. Um... The, the thing is, you can see, you can see the evidence of your own eyes. You can see that Skamaka's not happy at West Ham United. Look at any of his clips from him playing with Sassuolo with a, alongside Raspadori. You can see a player that's happy. You can see a person that's happy. Don't even have to know about football, right? You can just see from body language that Gianluca Skamaka is not happy at West Ham. So I think it's, it's quite clear uh, for one and all when you hear the rumours that he actually wants to leave West Ham that matches the evidence that you see with your own eyes. The whole thing smacks, and I, and I think I want to lump Skamaka in with Cresswell and Antonio. It all smacks of almost rats deserting a sinking ship, and I'm very, very sorry to say that. I'm, well, I'm even sorrier to bloody hear it, quite frankly. I think each, each player, each player's individual story tells a slightly different it's a slightly different take on what's happening. Uh, so I, I think for Skamakas, I, I honestly, I'm almost bored talking about it uh, in, in terms of the Skamaka one. We, we, we signed a striker who was better off playing in a partnership, plays one or up top for West Ham. Clearly, you're looking at a player who doesn't suit the tactics. And Mikel Antonio said it. Mikel Antonio said that Skamaka's a really good player, but he doesn't fit. Moyes' tactics, because at West Ham you have to feed off scraps under David Moyes' tactics. That's what Antonio said. I mean, yeah, look, he's, he's speaking the truth, absolutely, isn't he? I, I think for me, I look at somebody and look under David Moyes, you need to have a bit more pace about you than Skamaka does. You need to be able to uh, work the flanks uh, a little bit better than Skamaka can. You have to be, you have to be fast, you have to be more agile. You have to be a bit of a winger, really, don't you? Let's be perfectly honest with you. To get the best out of Skamaka, you're going to need to play a, a bit more attacking football. We'll, we'll see the true Gianluca Skamaka when he does go back to Italy. And uh, and, and he will go back to Italy. Uh, he absolutely will. And I think when Fabrizio and Romano did his uh, initial tweet, he's an Italian journalist. Yes, was he tweeting? Was he quoting Gazzetta della Sport? Yes, he was. As an Italian journalist, has he got the ear of Scamacca and Scamacca's new agents? Yes. Romano knew that, uh, that Scamacca wants to go back to Italy. He's not happy at West Ham. That much is true. And it is a shame, by the way. I should say it's a shame. I think we're going to see a really good player in the same way that when Haller left West Ham went to Ajax, he started banging in the goals. It is an absolute farce, really, that we waited 18 months to get Skamaka and it hasn't worked out. And by, we should have known 18 months to check it out. The pattern is repeating itself, by the way, you know, because realistically, we should have known for the past 18 months who Declan Rice's replacement going to be. But uh, just like we were with a strike, we seem to get anything. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> Who? Who exactly is going to replace Declan Rice? I don't know. That seems to be what West Ham are doing at the moment. Mikel Antonio won. No big surprise. Been hinting at it. Flashing his knickers at all and sundry in his podcasts. Can you flash your knickers in a podcast? 
Not if it's just an audio one. He, he has been in audio form flashing his knickers. Everybody letting it be known that he wants to leave West Ham United. Let's be fair. Let's be brutally honest. He's not played any part in our pre-season at all, um, as far as I know. So I haven't seen the most recent game. As you know, I've been away. Um, I didn't know if he played against Stad Rene. I did not watch the game, obviously. I know the scoreline. I know that, you know, the, roughly what happened in it. But... He is not in a position to be starting our first game. You, you think Danny Ings is going to start. Danny Ings is going to start our first game up front, isn't he? I think. If he doesn't, I'd be very surprised. That's what I expect to happen against Bournemouth. Danny Ings up front. Um, Antonio, don't really... I understand. I know it's just not a surprise. I know he wants to leave. Do I get it? Not really. Not from Antonio's point of view. I think David Moyes has been really good for him, really. And I don't know why. But he's just another... It's just another little... Just another little counter if you want that goes towards the sum total of chips which which suggests that, that there's an awful lot wrong at West Ham Aaron Cresswell is a different story well, I guess there's some similarities with Antonio in that sense that I think it's fair to say uh, Cresswell was I think enjoyed his best form under David Moyes at West Ham He's had some good seasons at West Ham. Don't get me wrong, when he first came in, he was really good. Uh, he was good for a few seasons, had a little dip. I, I thought he was finished at West Ham. And then David Moyes... It's easy to beat David Moyes with it, and I criticise him so often. And I, I think particularly with Thomas Suchek, it was like David Moyes made Thomas Suchek worse. It's easy to say he makes every player worse. I don't think he does. I think he improved. David Moyes was good for... Well, I've already said it, Mikel Antonio. It was good for Marco and Altovic. I also think David Moyes improved. I think he, not improved, he prolonged. That's the word I'm looking for. Prolonged Aaron Cresswell's career. And that, that season, when we first qualified for Europe, Aaron Cresswell, I think, was just behind um, Robinson at at Liverpool. As I, th I think he was the, the second best in the league. And he was, you know, he was deadly with his deliveries and all the rest of it. So I think it's quite sad that Aaron Cresswell wants to leave as well. Maybe just maybe it's not because he's fed up with David Moyes. I don't know, but it's just it's just a it's just another example of somebody that wants out of West Ham. And when it started off, it was just a load of youth players who sort of didn't see a, a path to the first team, so they were leaving. And, and now it just seems like everybody is leaving. You'll have all actually. I hope you haven't. You know, I'm not even going to repeat them. If you haven't heard the Declan Rice quotes about oh, the difference in Arsenal and West Ham, not then you, I'm not going to repeat them for you now. You've done well to avoid them and I'm not going to add to your misery, right? But for anybody that has, it's again, it's just another bit of evidence to add to but the mounting, uh, the, the mounting stack of evidence, basically, that is going to, that's quite damning, quite a damning judgment on what's going on at West Ham at the moment, which is just not a happy place to be. It doesn't matter whether you seem to be looking at it from... Uh, from an overview of a Tim Steiton point of view, whether you're looking at it from a point of view of Mark Warburton, who was kind enough to come onto Hammers chat as well. From so, from a coaching point of view, from a player's point of view, it seems like nobody is happy uh, with with things at West Ham at the moment, and, and I think it's a massive, massive concern. I probably should. Sub, I've been what eight minutes into the video. I've not even told you what what the quote is from West Ham. A quote is from West Ham basically says Skamaka, he seems to want out, but unless we get a proper offer, he's going nowhere. That's negotiating talk. <laughs> That's not, he's not leaving. That's negotiating talk. Just in the same way when Skamaka was saying, oh, I hope to have a good seat. Basically, Skamaka said all of the things. And what happened was, Skamaka said, I want to go back to Roma. Uh, it would be a dream to play under Mourinho. He would improve me as a player. Oh, and also, he also said, I'm looking forward to the season of West Ham. Um, now, and he also said, I didn't give it my best shot last season because, I, because I, of injuries. I think I'll do better this season. He actually said all the things. And some people clung to half of them. Some people clung to the other half. So some people looked at that interview and said he wants to leave and go to Roma. Some people looked at that interview and said, oh, no, no, he wants to stay at West Ham. It was an overview of stuff. But I certainly looked at it at the time. And I, 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 I thought he wanted to leave for quite some time. I've been saying it for months and months and months in videos. So when I heard that stuff about Roma, again, my confirmation bias is to take the first part of it. The other bit where he says about staying in West Ham, yeah, I was quite happy to amend it because they were his comments. That's what he wanted to say. I thought he was just safeguarding himself in case Roma or whoever else might be didn't come up with the money to make the transfer permanent. Um... 
look, a loan, a loan deal is no good to West Ham. So West Ham needs something permanent. And that's what they're saying here. That This is a negotiation tactic. It's basically saying, well, that, that's the quote. I'll say, again, he seems to want out, meaning Skamaka. Uh, but unless we get a proper offer, he's going nowhere. Uh, he needs to go. He needs to go. Uh, unless we unless we change manager and we get a, a manager who's going to play two up front and do something different, like right now, he needs to go. If if it's basically Gianluca stays, if Moyes is staying, Gianluca Skamaka cannot stay. You do not want him. He, he is, he. I mean, you talk about body language. He, he permeates, he exudes it. Honestly, and you can just see it in his demeanour that he is really, really unhappy. He's, you know, his shoulders hunch. He's, <laughs> it's all of that. I'm sorry, sorry. I just realised the microphone was there. I just didn't want me playing a raspberry in the microphone. Sorry if you've got your headphones in at the moment. Um, not good. Not good at all, his body language. And I think it tells us everything we need to know. We were desperate for some good news now at West Ham. And, and I'm, I only do this video now because I'm, I'm going to do a little video um, later on, <laughs> primarily because primarily, I've missed me one football advert in this one. I've done it too late. So I'll, I'll do a little transfer update uh, later on with the Borges stuff and with some of the other people we've been linked with. But it ain't good. I mean, it ain't good at the moment. We need a feel-good story, really, because... Do you know what? I was actually just going to start listing all, all the... I'm not going to start listing it because it's so bloody depressing. I don't want to say it. You don't want to hear it again. But uh, there's the, the, all, basically all the stuff I said in yesterday's video, basically, uh, if you watched that. Um, if you didn't, you've had another lucky escape by not watching that, quite frankly. But, you know, for all the mounting evidence that supports a very, very unhappy camp at West Ham, now with all this stuff, Antonio Cresswell, Skamaka... Uh, it's just absolutely terrible. It's really important, by the way. We we cannot if if this is true, and I think it is. I really believe it is. I I believe you know I believe Skamaka wants to leave. I believe Antonio wants to leave. If both are true, we cannot go into the season with Danny Ings and Mubama as our strikers. We just can't. I want Mubama to have a really good season. I think this season for him to flourish, but he cannot. The responsibility cannot be on him leading the line. It really can't. What's that mean? It means we need to get a striker in. Uh, if we if we want to get a striker in, uh, then we're gonna have to we're gonna need the Skamaka money. But I mean, we're not in a position to be selling players anyway. But it's taken us that long. We can't even spend. We've got we've got over hundred million to spend. As, as I heard it, how much of this is true? I don't know. I'm just saying it right. I I, I heard our budget basically we had twenty five million anyway this season, plus the twenty five million from Declan Rice. Yes, I know we don't get it all in one go, but we don't spend it all in one go. Realistically, I heard we could spend about hundred and thirty odd million. This season, we can't even spend that. Well, what's the point of getting some more money in for another striker? We, we, we can't even buy a midfielder at the moment. And, and all of a sudden, we're going to make it even harder for ourselves. We've got to buy a striker as well. I, I, I really, really don't know. I really don't know. I, this, this, is, this is a stinky at the moment. It's ineptitude. And I understand. I've, I've read some of the comments. I've, just, I've travelled back. I've been down, in, um, been down in Dorset and Devon. Very, very lovely, actually. And um, I've read some of the comments and... That some people blaming David Moyes, some people that blaming David Sullivan, some some people both. As I said at the start of yesterday's video, everyone wants to blame somebody. Some I don't bl I, I, what I don't do. I, I totally understand every everybody. So many people who are at fault, um, and you can blame both. They they uh, they do have roles to play in this. Both of them. Um, I, I I don't know. I don't know. It's I I'm almost past the point in even trying to figure out who signed Skamaka. It was so blatant once you'd seen him play that he wasn't going to suit West Ham. Whoever, they're all to blame. Whoever suggested him as an option, whoever once had looked at him and scouted him, signed off on it, they're all to blame for it. They're all to, I think he's a really good player, but he's a wrong player at the wrong club under the wrong manager. I don't mean wrong manager. You ever fast show? I don't mean wrong manager. Oh, you know, for, jumpers for goalposts, all that. Anyway, I, I digress. I digress. I'll catch up with you later on. I hope there's some much better news.